WUTR. The Oneida County Sheriff's Office, county police agencies, and New York State Police will be participating in a special end of summer statewide operation to combat impaired driving until September 5th. Eyewitness News reporter Lauren Brill has more details. If an adult over 21 wants to drink, that's their business. But if they're going to drink and drive, that becomes my business. As we reach the end of summer, the Oneida County Sheriff's Office is participating in the statewide Stop DWI Labor Day campaign. Program coordinator Eric Townsend explains that more patrols will be put out on the roads, specifically focused on driving while intoxicated and traffic safety enforcement. Around most holidays, um, drinking is more prevalent. And um, the crash uh, statistics show that they're higher around those periods. So nationally, um, numbers uh, with drunk driving uh, fatalities um, in 2020, which is the most recent data, is 11,654 people. So if we can reduce that number, that is what we're trying to do is save lives. And the sheriff's office reminds the community to always have a plan before you head out for the night. In addition to traditional, you know, designated drivers and taxis, now you've got all kinds of opportunities for whether we're talking Uber or other means of transportation. Oneida County Sheriff Robert Mayshall says it's important to educate the public, especially the younger generation, about the dangers and consequences of driving under the influence. When someone, you know, gets arrested for DWI, they're establishing a criminal record that they can never deny. Losing your license, um, you know, getting your name in the paper, all those types of things um, are, are devastating to someone once it happens. Over the years, we have had numerous, too many to count, fatal accidents caused by drunk drivers. And making that one destructive decision of drinking and, dri and then driving um, certainly can ruin that person's life. And many times we find it, it ruins the lives of innocent people. Reporting in Oneida County, Lauren Brill, Eyewitness News. In honor of Ukrainian independence.